on 60% shooting recently. So really, it's always been Steph and Clay, right? It's been the Splash Brothers. It's been Steph and KD, or maybe with a little bit of side of Dre. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of an interesting thought exercise now, Stephen A. Who is the second best player for the Golden State Warriors? Well, the second best player is Jonathan Kaminga right now, as far as I'm concerned. But the, 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 the key player outside of Steph Curry is going to be Clay Thompson because as he goes, the Warriors go to some degree outside of Steph Curry because of the, his struggles. 17 points per game this year, the lowest of his career. 41.7% shooting, the lowest of his career. We're talking talking about one of the greatest shooters we have ever seen in the history of basketball, literally only having about five guys who are shooting worse than him with a minimum of 500 field goal attempts this season. That's Jordan Poole, that's Max Struess, that's Fred Van Vliet, that's Jalen Green, and that's Jordan Clarkson. I never, ever, ever in my wildest dreams would have thought I've reached a point where I'm looking at Klay Thompson and associating him with anything bad when it comes to shooting the basketball. But that's where we are right now. As he, if he improves with the way Kaminga's looking, with the way Steph's looking, with the way Draymond is looking at how they look defensively, outscoring teams 13 points better when Draymond Green is on the court. Defense, I'm telling you right now, if Klay Thompson gets going, look out for the Golden State Warriors. But we haven't seen it. Mm. Let's, let's let well, our steam no. hey, hey, <laughs> to left, have, the, have the last no, word. I, I, look, look, this, man, you... this man picked the Warriors in 22. That He, he's a, he knows. He, 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 he might be the only he guy in, in 22 to pick the Warriors in the that championship. So he's allowed to have his time. But, but look, I, I think that's all perfect. Uh, Draymond Green, since he's been back, the Warriors third in offense efficiency, fifth in defense. That's a mark of a very good team. Yeah. Kaminga stepping it up, like you said, Malika, 60% from the field last 12 games, 45% from three. He's been their second best offensive player. Mm -hmm. Wiggins was that in 22. Can yep. Kaminga be that in 24? I don't think Clay is going to keep shooting like he has. He's too good a shooter right. to stay, like you mentioned, the worst numbers slumps. of his career. You watch him shooting warm up. This is not a guy that should be shooting 41 percent from the floor. That just not doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. But he is. He's got to find his way out of it. The Warriors are playing the best basketball of their season right now. Draymond yes. Green coming back has unlocked that wiggins Kaminga combination that was not working at all. Steph Curry has been Steph Curry, um, and they're coming together. They didn't do a lot at the deadline. I don't think they needed to do a lot. Pajemski's playing great. Uh, need more from Wiggins. Need more from Clay. But tonight, they're playing a real team. The Phoenix Suns are playing the best basketball of their season so far, too. So I wish I could be at this game. This game's like 15 minutes from my house, and I can't go. But anyways, I get to watch it. LA traffic to took Super you the Bowl. wrong way. Draymond Green is the second most important player on the team. Okay. He may not be the second best. He, he's certainly the second most important. Steph Curry, Draymond Green. You mentioned all that defensively. Bob just mentioned how he unlocked a combination of Kaminga and Wiggins. Draymond Green. I mean, when Draymond's playing this well, and we expect this from him defensively, but he's given him more again, not five years ago, Draymond yeah. Green offensively, but, Im but improved enough offensively that you've got Draymond, you've got Kaminga. The question is, can you get, what can you get from Wiggins and Clay the rest of the way? What can you get from them tonight to beat Phoenix, a game that each team actually needs? So, Bob, Curry's never had a Kaminga, really, before. Someone who's athletic, can drive, can be a paint presence. We saw the other night, Steph Curry was the only player against the Brooklyn Nets to make a three. It feels like, fundamentally, the way that they are playing has changed. So, if it is Kaminga, who you're saying, right, is the second-best player right now, even if he's not the most important, second-best, how far can they go with that Kaminga-Curry duo? Well, they had Durant, who's pretty... <laughs> yeah, he who's back have, tonight. Who's back tonight. He did have Durant, who checks all the boxes, athletically and everything. Um, I don't, it's fascinating for me to watch Kaminga come into his own. I mean, th th this is, you, you always like Kaminga. We've talked about Kaminga years ago. Um, I just, in the play, I just, this will be a fascinating test for Kaminga because some of these games the Warriors have played have not been against great teams. They've played well, yep. but this is a real test tonight. I know he respects Durant. He's going to have to guard somebody great on the opposing team, but the, the, the ascension of Kaminga gives this team a chance. It really does. Well, you mentioned Draymond Green, too. Uh, I'll say this. 45% shooting from three is a very, very big deal mm. because we're accustomed to seeing them make threes. Someone other than Steph Curry. When you looked at Wiggins when you won the chip a couple of years ago, Wiggins was doing a lot of things that we're seeing Kaminga doing now. Kaminga is younger, more, you know, more athletic, one could argue. Obviously, playing with considerably more energy. If he can keep this up, that offsets a lot of the negative stuff that we thought about the Golden State Warriors in a way that they were trending. Suddenly, you have to halt that, and now you pray 
Clay Thompson, find yourself, get it back. And by the way, I don't want to hear another damn word about Clay Thompson potentially being upset, having reached an accord on the contract situation or whatever. Yeah, when you go home, that's fine. But when you're on a basketball court actually bouncing, dribbling, running up and down a court, I don't, I don't believe for one second, oh, my God, I'm depressed. I don't have my contract right now. And that's why I'm missing jump shots. Damn that. <laughs> damn that. You can play this. Listen, at Clay Thompson with these low numbers for him, at least 25 teams would be happy with numbers like that. This man could still play. Yeah. Just go out there and play. Well, and they might be happy with it next summer. That could be a situation that we're looking at.